we are going to learn about the interface management profiles and in the interface management profiles it's a way that you can permit certain services or protocols like SSH and HTTPS or HTTPS and if you allow um, let's say HTTPS from an interface other than the management interface you're going to be able to manage this Palo Alto um, via the GUI interface so we are going to be doing that and we need to do that from a layer 3 deployment interface so let's go ahead and configure that layer 3 interface so for interface 0 slash, uh, 1 slash 1 it needs to be a layer 3 this one right here and it's going to be in the in zone and this one is going to be in the out zone and the default uh, the router is going to be the default IP address let's go ahead and create it one actually this one is going to be that to that one because it is going to this network right here which is in the two network and this one is going to be in the one network go ahead and do a slash 24 let's go into advance and for advanced is where you can go ahead and create your management profile so we're going to go ahead and create a new management profile and what do we want to um, allow I want to allow ping and HTTPS and the name does not need to match your the services that you're going to allow so we want to allow ping and HTTPS from this interface so we are going to be able to ping this interface and we are also going to allow HTTPS on this interface and since we're going to allow HTTPS uh, service we are going to be able to manage the Palo Alto profile from this interface just like I said before so go ahead and click OK um, config everything looks good all right so since I'm going to it I'm going to have a zone in and zone out let's go ahead and create those zones if you guys remember how to do that we're going to network and then zone go ahead and um, click on add to select to add a new one we're going to name it in we're going to add interface one slash one we're going to press ok let's go ahead and add another one which is going to be out and it's going to be a layer three we're not going to add the interface because interface one slash two is not a layer three yet and therefore it won't be in here as you can see uh, so can we uh, it won't let us okay so uh, I messed up so we need to go into interface and we need to enable this layer 3 interface before we can add it to the zone so let's go ahead and do that first so we are going to go into the not a VM we need to go into interface type layer 3 since it's layer 3 we can go ahead and add the virtual router it's going to be the default we're going to add 192 that 168 that one that one size 24 we're going to go into advanced and in advance for this management profile we're just going to create a new one and we're just going to allow ping so we are able to ping and the name I want to name it pin the name does not need to match what you're going to permit okay it's just for better management purposes so we can go ahead and press ok and let's go ahead and go into zones and now we should be able to add the new one out layer 3 and even though it should be it should allow me to just create it but it didn't let me without adding the interface I don't know why but who knows Palo Alto okay so there we go one slash one in the in one slash two in the out and since they are in different zones we need to create a policy because by default the Palo Alto the Palo Alto firewall does not allow inter is it inter um, interzone interzone it does not allow um, from one zone into another zone so it doesn't allow interzone right um, traffic so we need to do into out um, source we're going to add the source of in destination source is out action we want to allow there we go that's good so we have configured the network we configure the in the zones we configure the interfaces layer 3 we are allowing ping and HTTPS from interface 1 slash 1 and we are allowing ping just from this 1 slash 2 so therefore let's go ahead and commit our changes and after that is committed I'm just going to log out 
and then I'm going to try to log in from any of these Docker images. See if it lets me log in to the Palo Alto since we allow the management profiles to allow HTTPS from here and only pin from here. So after that is done, committing, good. I'm going to go and launch this. Let's see if it lets me launch. It doesn't let me. Let's go ahead and just stop it, wipe it, start again. Nice, we let me in. Let's go ahead and go and just open Firefox. And actually, let's see, because we enable ping from this interface and we also allow HTTPS. So let's go ahead and try ping 192.168.1.1. There we go. Ping is allowed. So that is a good sign. Now let's go ahead and go down and go into HTTP. 192.168. Oh, actually, the ping should be that 2.1. Did I do 2.1 or 1.1? .1? Let's go ahead and try that 2.1 because I think I did. Um, one to one. So we are going to do. We are going to do a ping. I just lost the connection again. So let me log out. Actually, let me go put this down. Let me give me one second. I'm having this issue. I have to. I'm gonna have to. Not re image, but I'm gonna have to reinstall even G. So let's go ahead and log out from here. Exit. Let's go ahead and try to ping 192.168.2.2 or that two that one. Okay, so we are able to ping interface one slash one. That's good because we allow on ping. Let's go ahead and go into 168.2.1. As you can see, it doesn't let you in because we didn't allow HTTP. We actually allow HTTPS. 192.168.2.1. And there we go. So from here, we are now able to get into the Palo Alto firewall and we are able to manage it. So if somebody's having issues on this network on this side um, and we have to log into the Palo Alto firewall, we can just plug in or connect to a network and we should be able to log in into the Palo Alto firewall. And there it is. It lets you log in from this um from this side. So what happens if we try it from the other from this other side? Which doesn't let me do it again. I'm gonna have to wipe it. We have to Wipe, start, okay. So let's go ahead and go first into the terminal. Mate, ping, 192.168, that one, that one. We are able to ping that one, that one, because we are allowing that one, that one from here to over here. So we are able to do that. Let's see if we're able to Ping that to that one, which we are, or we should be allowing that to that one. We are unable to ping that to that one. That's because we did not create that um, the other policy. So let's go ahead and create the other policy, which is going from out to in. So let's go ahead and go. And as you can see, I'm in Docker 5 now because we are allowing HTTPS on this side. So let's go ahead and say, out to in. Let's go ahead and source. It's going to be out destination destination in action allow. Let's go ahead and commit it. And after that is done committing, we should be able to pin from this server into this into one that one. We are able to pin one that two, which is that one that one. Now we should be able to pin that two that one because we are allowing that traffic to come across from out to in and from in to out. 
So let's go ahead and try it again. There we go. So we are allowing pings to go into the traffic. Now let's see if we are able to get into 192.168.1.1 HTTPS, even though we, if you remember, we did not allow that. Therefore, it's not going to work. And there you can see that it's not working, but if you go into interface 1.1, which is 2.1, we should be able to get into the Palo Alto firewall. And there it is. That's how it works. And if you just want to configure, let's go ahead and go into Docker 5. And if you just want to configure, let's just configure HTTP instead of HTTPS on Ether, Ethernet 1 slash 2. So we go to network. We go all the way down here, interface management. Let's go ahead and edit the ping. And let's go ahead and allow HTTP instead of HTTPS. Let's go ahead and commit it. If we don't commit, it won't we won't be able to we won't be able to HTTP from interface one size two. There we go, it is getting there. So now let's go ahead and go into the other server, which is seven. And let's go ahead and go into HTTP 192.168.1.1. And there we go. We are able to get into the Palo Alto firewall using HTTP from this side and HTTPS from the other side. And that is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching.